David Stewart here. thought I'd take a minute tonight to talk to you about method books. Method books are big instructional books that help you learn and progress your technique. If you're learning independently, with, that means without a private instructor, a method book will be really helpful for helping you develop technique and learn to read. If you're with an instructor, they'll usually tell you what method book they prefer to work out of with you. Um, I'm going to give a couple of pieces of advice for both instructors and uh, for students for what method books I prefer. Um, I'm going to start with the classical and the flamenco stuff and then we'll talk about um, plectrum style at the end. Uh, so, uh, the, the main uh, method book that I've used over the years is this one. Um, this is the Christopher Parkening uh, Guitar Method, Volume 1. I think there's two or three volumes. Got a nice picture of him in an angelic white sweater. I taught college classes with this. This is a great book. It has really, really detailed pictures of the guitar. It's got very detailed pictures of how to set your hands when you're playing the techniques. It progresses through the techniques in a really specific order. It teaches you rhythm first in the music and teaches you how to play open strings and how to play the correct right hand techniques before it moves on to teaching you all the notes of the left hand. Um, and at the end of the book, there's some really, really good beginning level classical guitar pieces for you to check out. So I really recommend this one. Same thing if you're a flamenco guitar player. If you're a flamenco guitar player, I recommend that you start with this one, and then once you have progressed sufficiently in this or finished this book off, take a look at this book. This is the very famous, very classic Mel Bay's Flamenco Guitar Basic Techniques by Juan Serrano. He was my teacher and also the teacher of another guy I'll talk about in a minute. So uh, this is a great book once you know how to read and know how to play a little bit because it's got complete beginning level um, flamenco guitar pieces that are really, really authentic and very true. This doesn't go through how to play uh, many, many different variations of compas and falsetta. For that, you want the, um, there's a really thick blue book by the same guy, by Juan Serrano, called um, Systematic Studies for Flamenco Guitar. That's what that one's called. That one has more of like the big picture stuff. This will get you playing flamenco right away. It's a great piece. comes with a CD. You can listen to Juan play all the music on the CD. And it also comes in tablature for those of you who are uh, really liking tablature. That's some sheet music. And you'll have the same thing in tablature. And it's really, really clear, easy to read tab too. So recommend that. Whether you read music or you don't, this is a great one to pick up if you're already playing. If you're not playing yet, start with this, learn to read, learn the techniques, and then move on to this one. Okay. Another uh, really famous method is this one, the Julio Segreras, uh First Lessons for Guitar. This one does not have a lot of detailed pictures. In fact, it has no pictures on how to do the techniques. It just has lots and lots of sheet music. So this is a great one to add if you don't have an instructor, add it to the parking, play this one, and this will give you a lot of practice for reading. If you want to know how to read music, if you want to be good at it, you have to do it a lot, okay? So this is a great one to pick to add onto that, and a lot of guitar instructors like to work through this one too. That's the Julio Segreras one. There are three volumes to this one. Um, the next book I'll talk about for you classical and flamenco guitar players is a book by Scott Tennant, another one of Juan Serrano's students. So he also studied with Juan Serrano. Great guy, I've met him a couple times. He teaches over at USC. Um, this is not a method book, this is a technique book. And it goes through very specific ways on how to play all the techniques, including Roschiato and Roschiato patterns, um, tremolo, uh, rest stroke, free stroke, pretty much any technique that you could think of. He goes through it and he has exercises for it. He has really detailed explanations of how to do it, detailed explanations of how to hold the guitar, how to file your nails. Everything is in this book. I do my nails a little bit different than him, just so you know. Um, but he's, he's a great guy, great player, and this is a really good supplementary book to a different method. And I think there are method books for this, but I still kind of prefer the parking a little bit. So this is a great um, supplement to that. If you are a plectrum player, if you play with a pick and you're playing electric guitar or something like that. The method book that I usually recommend is the Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method, even though it was written way back, like in the 50s. Um, it's a great method. It progresses through the reading knowledge um, in the order that I like. It will teach you to do basically everything besides playing power chords, um, but those aren't hard to pick up and you didn't watch my power chord video to figure that out. Um, but it will get you to accompany yourself uh, with the pick, how to play chords, how to put chords into melodies and all of that sort of stuff and teach you to read. 
My one criticism is that it's a little skimpy on music in certain points. Um, so as you're progressing, there's not a whole lot of extra pieces between you know step A and step B for any particular set of techniques. Um, that's the one flaw of it, but I really like the book. There's three volumes of that one as well. If uh, you're thinking about other method books, there's a lot of them out there. An instructor might tell you which one they prefer to, to work out of. There's a couple of method books out that try to integrate classical and flamenco technique in a true method book. I'm not a huge fan of those, and it's not because it can't or shouldn't be done. It's just I haven't thought those to be particularly good method books. Um, I've even taught out of a couple of them and not really liked them. So what I really prefer to do if you're a beginning flamenco player, start with the parketing method and learn those basic techniques and then move on to the Serrano books, the Juan Martin books, and um, take a look at those once you know how to play a little bit and you'll probably have a better time picking up the flamenco stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that you found that helpful. Thank you.